Black Warriors to another Apex Legends video. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to go over the Season 6 patch notes and my thoughts on Season 6 so far. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So, yeah, Season 6 has dropped. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to wait, play a full day or one day since the new season has dropped. I got some gameplay in yesterday, kind of checked out everything. But I wanted to go over the patch notes and give you guys my thoughts on Season 6. Okay, so... The map update, World's Edge update, the Him and Robotics took over. So I will say this right off the bat, the updates to World's Edge map, the map is actually really nice. The updates to like drill site, adding places over there by domes, stuff like that. Like all these new locations are really great. There's a lot of intricate like levels to these places, a lot more loot, you know, in a lot of these places are you know gonna be used more because a lot of those places were just unused and it was just like fillers to like you're going from like dome to you know like tree or something like that and there's like literally nothing in between maybe just a few houses and stuff but now you have all these locations that kind of like update you know world's edge and i think that the map changes are really really good probably the best part of this entire update guys um next up you got rampart played a lot of rampart yesterday um i don't i don't know man the new 21 year old british italian girl her weapons and stuff her passive modern loader is pretty sweet um the increase um magazine side and faster reloads with uh lmgs and miniguns are pretty cool um it brings a new element to people using lmgs i'm not sure why respawn wants lmgs to be like in the meta but it is and now the energy weapons are all in meta but we'll get to that in just a sec her amp cover, the crotch walls are really nice. Um, putting down five of these. There was a lot of times yesterday when I was playing with her, and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a whole breakdown of her, which you'll see in some gameplay in another video, guys. But like when you put her walls down, they get if they're being shot at, they instantly break. So although you can put down five, like there needs to be that time to put it down, allow it to like build itself up and then go. Otherwise, they just break super easy. So, but. As far as when they when they are up and you can shoot out of them and deal a bunch of damage, like that's pretty crazy. Like you can knock somebody really fast. The TTK is already really quick, so you you add that on top of her of her you know her little walls there and it deals additional damage shooting through. It's insane. Um, her ultimate Sheila the mini gun is insane. Okay, and the fact that you can reload it and just have unlimited ammo and just keep shooting 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 is pretty nuts it's like probably one of the coolest things i've seen in this game but um if you shoot if players are decently close to you or even at a longer distance if you can zoom that thing in and just destroy people so uh, her ultimate is actually pretty cool now the new weapon volt smg right now in the community there's a lot of issues guys there's a big bug going around with the energy weapons and just footsteps in general the footsteps are very quiet the um, SMGs or the energy weapons aren't making that charge up sound that you normally hear um, so you can react to it but uh, and I hope they fix it I think that's just day one update and there's just a lot of bugs and they need to fix it um, but the energy base SMG this gun is actually rips dude like just it destroys that's a good replacement for the R99 since the R99 was care packaged um, the iron sights are very very good and this gun literally has no recoil guys so uh, the new Volt SMG is probably going to be in the meta for a long time. Um, the new crafting system. Um, I got mixed feelings about this. We're going to be doing a different video on uh, both the gun and the crafting uh, system. But uh, I think this is something different that they've added, which is pretty cool. Every time you open up a loot bin, you get crafting materials. And then there's crafting materials that are located all over the map which I think is pretty cool. And there's three sides which you can activate all at the same time. So if you're getting ammo, you're getting, you know, a knockdown shield, whatever it is. At the start of every game, it shows you what the weekly items are plus the daily items are and the daily items will change. But um, overall, I think this is just something extra because like the main thing I used when I was breaking down the crafting system was just ammo. I never really needed the knockdown shield. I never really grabbed a med kit. Um, I just needed ammo, but even then when you do the crafting system and you get ammo, it's only 10, 10 a piece for each ammo type that you're getting, which is only the ammo types of the guns that you have, which is fine. 
but I think it should be like bigger ammo, more ammo. But then again, this is something new that they've done, so it's probably going to be a lot of tweaking before it actually gets right. But I do think it's it's a cool thing that they've added. Armor meta, probably the biggest thing that we're going to talk about um, in in season six. Okay, so now all armor is Evo. You start off with a level zero Evo armor which if you start shooting people, it levels up, or you can find armor on the ground, which every armor on the ground is Evo except gold. Now, when I first read this, I thought that gold was gonna be a four bar uh, armor, just like it always has been, but it's not. It's actually a three bar um, armor. So then the only four bar armor is red once you level it up. Red can't be found on the ground, so uh, you have to find anything else and just level it up. So that I'm kind of disappointed about because now that you can't, they changed fast healing to just doubling. There's no reason to have this doubled. Your all day yesterday when I played guys, I rarely used regular shield cells. If I found batteries, batteries were just way more important. Like the fact that you heal, you know. Batteries were always good, but now they're even better because like everybody's level three armor. So you just bat up and then fight and win. So I rarely used individual shield cells yesterday at all. So and at the time of this video, guys, we're recording this at 730 in the morning. So it's bright and early. So don't mind me if I seem a little sleepy. But um, the fact that everything is Evo, I think is really nice. It plays on people, you know, who we're blaming the RNG gods for not being able to find armor or whatnot. Now, even if you land on top of somebody and you punch the crap out of them, you know, you can level um, armor up and then you have your level, your armor levels to go up, which they changed drastically. So, I mean, to get to red is 500, which is pretty crazy. Um, it used to be 450, but now it's 500. So the armor, I think, is really nice. Um, but they said they would really help the loot availability in the early game without requiring players to hot drop when they don't want to. So essentially what this says is that the community couldn't find armor when they drop. Somebody finds a gun, shoots and kills them. So, but the issue here is, is that even if you find a gun, now you can fight somebody and level up armor that you already have on as opposed to finding armor. So I don't know how I feel about that. I still feel like you need to find these things. Um, you know, I think it really lowers the bar as far as the skill gap. But, um, you know, same thing with the TTK. The new TTK in the game, the time to kill guys, is just super, super fast. It it just seems really easy to drop somebody. And if you're team shooting, it's it's very easy to, to just drop somebody. So um, I'm not sure why they lowered it. They wanted to bring down the time to kill a bit in order to reward strategic positioning. But the issue here with that statement is there is no strategic positioning when somebody or you can shoot at somebody and laser them because these guns don't have any recoil and you just drop somebody. So you don't get rewarded for better positioning. If if, if you get shot at and you instantly drop down like you you lose all your armor, you're almost dead, then now you gotta fully heal up before you can get back into the fight. Um, so I don't think that this is accurate. Maybe, maybe in the higher levels, because positioning is more important and higher level ranked and then the pro low, you know, the pro scene, but um, the fact that the TTK is much lower, it's easier to just, you know, not have to find an armor. Um, I don't know. I honestly feel like the the devs that respawn have lowered the skill gap for the casual players and less competitive players to make it easier for them and make it frustrating for players who are actually good at the game because strategic positioning is not a thing with how fast you can kill somebody now. So that's just my thoughts on that. The hollow sprays are actually pretty cool. The battle pass is pretty sick, guys. I'm not going to go through all that. The new quest uh, storyline now is Illustrated Comics. I talked about this last season when they did the first one for Loba. I thought it was really cool. Uh, it it kind of sucked that you had to read it. I thought they could have done the voice the voice things for it. But now that it's Illustrated Comics, I think it's great, man. Some another, another element in the lore for Apex has been amazing anyway. So, Legends... Um, we're doing going to do a whole video on Pathfinder, Rip Pathfinder. He got absolutely screwed. But uh, 
the recon class now that bloodhound and crypto can both hit the beacons um pathfinder has suffered immensely there's no reason to ever use him um you know and they added the thing where his zip his ultimate using the zip line reduces 10 seconds each time you scan a beacon up to six but the fact is through my entire time playing this game you know you really only need to hit one beacon maybe two depending on the rotation that you're at with the zone so uh up to six is kind of pointless to reduce this thing to 60 seconds so pathfinder rip pathfinder main sorry guys but he's pretty much useless now bloodhound and crypto got huge buffs guys um individually bloodhound is amazing now um even better the all father and then the beast of the hunt have been increased um and now that you can scan beacons with bloodhound bloodhound is a very viable character for just overall play and for high level rank to possibly the the pro scene we'll see crypto man you know what they really hated on uh uh crypto and revenant i'm talking about them together because uh there was players that and shout out to tsm for having this strat but they literally nerfed revenant the whole revenant meta based on tsm's gameplay uh from the last two tournaments so the combination of wraith revenant and crypto using you know pretty much double ultimates so they've changed all that now you can't you got to wait two seconds after using uh the death totem to go through the dimensional rift which is hilarious so but now uh crypto is going to be a high level character this is insane he um can now activate respawn beacons with his drone which is insane um and then he can also scan the beacons instantly with his drone so uh huge buff to crypto um huge buff to bloodhound sorry pathfinder mains rip um revenant didn't pretty much nothing changed with him besides the two seconds so uh loba just got some quality of life stuff i mean nobody really cares about her <laughs> gibby uh defensive bombardment timer is increased same with bang buff on her wraith um increased alt timers to uh from 2.5 to 3.5 minutes um and then interceptor pylons this is actually cool for watson her trophy system will now shoot down caustic barrels so if somebody if you're in a building you got her pylon up somebody's throwing caustic barrels inside it shoots them out i think this is amazing so um then of course added loot they added the turbochargers back because they want the gun meta to be energy which is is different but um i will say this the devo is insane the devo is very very strong the devo uh, being a floor weapon and as of yesterday like i it was just so common i found it all the time um i don't know if that's what they intended it to be as a floor weapon to be found that much but it is very overpowered especially early on or even late game to be honest because if you don't have your armor leveled up you know uh the devotion will just rip you and that's the other thing with the armor too man it kind of caters to those players who are just super campy and can't really like they don't want to fight a whole lot because now like it forces players to fight more which i think is a good thing because that's the only way to level your armor up but i think it caters to the casual scene just way too much man and i hate that these companies do this but the uh you know but the casual player base is the biggest player base that they have so um, choke is permanently on the triple take which is nice r99 supply drop really cool they make it uh red when you get it which is awesome and then devotion is insane so fully kitted weapons they changed out removed those added these uh updated loot uh sniper ammo and energy ammo uh amounts changed so other than that guys uh just some you know small buffs and tweaks to some of these weapons um the biggest ones coming to the hemlock and the uh prowler which uh, make them pretty crazy. So, um, and then a bunch of bug fixes, which they need to add a bunch of more bug fixes. But overall, guys, those are the patch notes. I know it's a day late, but I wanted to go over them after playing the game so I can kind of talk about them as opposed to just being excited for the patch notes. That's it for everything. Overall, um, I, I think I speak for myself and the community where we're very excited when we read the patch notes but now that playing it after even after a day and seeing how overpowered uh some things are and how like unbalanced it seems you know and then all the audio problems uh overall i think they just reduced the skill gap 
you know you don't really need to have a whole lot of gun skill now because you can just shoot somebody and almost instantly kill them um so it lowers the bar there again i think this update pretty much catered to the casual player because now that they reduce the gun skill they've added overpowered abilities in rampart um and crypto and and even having remnant stay the same uh to kind of help other players out so like the skill gap just got reduced you know it's kind of like what happened in fortnite it's the same thing that happened in call of duty so uh it's kind of disappointing to see that but the best things coming out of this update guys for me is the new vault smg is actually nice and then the map changes so um i did tweet about like my overall thoughts when i read the patch notes so make sure to check that out follow me on twitter um, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Really hope this helps you out. We got a lot more videos coming for Season 6. I know we uh, we were kind of delayed uh, on this video, but we got plenty more coming out. So um, make sure to check those out and stay tuned. And uh, if you're new here, man, make sure to drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, help me out. We're almost to 800 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So um, we're making our, our grind to 1,000, guys. So thank you so much for all the love and support. And as for me, Warlord, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.